Hey guys, welcome back for part two. I've already added a coat of epoxy and now you'll see me doing the white swirl with white matte spray paint. Depending on what type of white glitter you're gonna use over this portion, you're gonna wanna coat that pretty good. You don't wanna see the stripes through there too much. I'm using 91% rubbing alcohol and an old towel to clean up any of that overspray. I really don't want the white paint to overtake any of that alcohol ink. This part doesn't have to be perfect. You are gonna use a white glitter to cover this and kind of ombre that line in. I just wanted to expose some more of the alcohol inks. Okay, she's ready for epoxy. I'm using CC DIY Spasset, Code Texas guys. Get the whole tumbler nice and coated, and then we're gonna use a torch to pop any bubbles. Okay, y'all, she's ready for glitter. This is one of my favorite white custom mix. If you are looking for the recipe, check out my TikTok. Okay, guys, when I glitter, I'm not in a super rush to get it all on there at once. I'll get a little bit, let it spin, get a little bit more. You can always add more, but you can never take it off. Ask me how I know. Y'all, she's so pretty. Don't forget to pat down those chunkies so in the next step, you're not having to stand so hard. I forgot to record this part, but before I put the epoxy over the glitter, I clear coated this with clear gloss spray paint to help any type of repelling that would come from those chunky glitters. Make sure everything gets coated really well. We are going to sand in this next step. Make sure you torch out any bubbles. Those chunky glitters tend to make a lot of bubbles. I ordered a big pack of nail files off of Amazon and I find these are really helpful for the rim. I'm just gonna go around multiple times making sure to expose that silver so when I'm epoxying, it is creating a good seal around the rim of the tumbler. After that, I like to give my tumbler a good wet sand. This seems to help not make such big of a mess while sanding by doing it wet. <laughs> and I also use Dawn dish soap to help me go faster. I really didn't mean for that part to sound so dirty, but now let's sand the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. When we put a coat of epoxy on after this, it will smooth out any of those dimples in it. But I do wanna take off any of the big chunky parts because those might not be as smooth in the next coat if they're sticking up too much. I did pat down my glitter, but sometimes some stick up or stick through. The bottom, however, should be super smooth. I go ahead and sand as much as possible. Um, it should be as smooth as it would be when I go to put the next coat of epoxy on. Uh, I am a stickler for a smooth rim and bottom. Now let's do the top the same way. You see me feeling for any extra bumps on there. 
I may have sanded a little in excess, but I really can't stand it to not be smooth. All right guys, I did not record me printing or clear spray painting my water slides, but I use an HP inkjet printer and clear water slide paper, which I will link in the comments. It is from Amazon. I've already put a coat of epoxy over the sanded tumbler and my water is quite warm for a water slide. I did four to six coats of clear spray paint, pretty heavy coats, and let those dry overnight. Um, I cut them all out by hand and then I put them in the warm waters, removing them from the paper and using a squeegee of my fingers to smooth them around the curves of the 30 ounce tumbler. The warm water helps for the spray paint and the image to be more flexible. That's how I'm able to make this work on a 30 ounce curve. Take your time, be patient. I did rip this one and I was able to repair it. You are not always gonna be able to do that. Um, but again, take your time, go slow, be delicate with these. Really use your fingers and the squeegee to press down those edges of the water slides and to make sure there's no bubbles or water left underneath the water slides. For this tumbler, I don't just stop the cowhide where the white stops. I am letting it hang over into the alcohol ink design because I want that to feel like it ombre right in. I don't want it to look like a definite line there. And this also is helping you cover that white line with spray paint. If you don't like where a water slot is positioned and you, it has a pretty thick coat of clear spray paint, you can lift it right off the tumbler, put it back into the water to warm it back up and make it more pliable. I didn't like the position, they weren't close enough together. So don't be scared to replace these or move them around. You just have to be gentle with them. Here's a quick time lapse of me doing all the water slides together. I let my water slides dry overnight, add two coats of epoxy, sand if needed, clean, package, and she's ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.